Hey everybody. So we talked about this in our synchronous class, but I wanted to show you exactly how to find the rubrics for assignments. Like for example, there are rubrics right now for um, the discussion board posts, uh, the weekly one, and there will be rubrics for like your kinetics report and things like that, that you can look at before you turn things in. Um, so the way to find this is um, first you log into Blackboard. So you see this page and then you go to grades. There's probably other ways, but this is the easiest one, I think. And you got to, you can organize this in various different ways. Um, one thing that I did have to do is this was displaying by due date. So it was really only showing like recent items. Um, you can, choose course order and it will organize it by module essentially uh that's a manual process i have to go in and do that but you know generally it keeps things um more in order and so the this is the discussion board right here it's not due until like tomorrow but um this is how you would so you can see what the description of it is and you of, of the grade that's not the instructions for the post but that's what you're sort of assessed by that's how it's categorized so it's in module one um and it's worth up to 18 points now i don't have anything to to submit for these ones this means that um something was submitted by you or this is one that i started and didn't finish i did that in class today um if there's not an exclamation point then it means you haven't submitted anything to me. If there's a grade, then that means you did and I graded it. Okay, so you can just click view rubric. And this has a lot of information about what's expected. All right, so there's basically two categories for this one. It's do you understand the material and are you being logical in your rationale? So there's three levels. And so you can earn zero points if, um, you're just like fundamentally wrong about the content. I don't, I hope not, but it happens. Um, competent is half point, uh, you know, half of the points in that category, 25% of the total points. Um, and then of course we would like everybody to be proficient, which means you get the full nine points for the content understanding. And it's kind of the same organization for reasoning. So you can read these details, lots of information about how to get the best scores, which are, you know, proficient. All right, so that's how you're going to see the rubrics. I hope it helps you. Um, but as always, if you have questions, please do reach out. And remember that you can resubmit discussion boards until the due date. You can keep doing it, keep refining it, keep adding to your post, edit it, whatever you got to do um, so that you can get, get the, the points that you want. Okay, so there you go.